<laughs> welcome to our midweek noon prayers on Facebook Live and Instagram Live. We want to thank everyone for joining us uh, today. Um, we hope that you are all well. I want to thank you for sharing with us your prayer requests and praise reports. Uh, we would ask those of you who've been joining us, especially on a weekly or mostly weekly basis, to update us if you can on some of the prayer requests. Uh, as we've been praying for people for several weeks, it would be great to hear an update, a praise report to keep praying or to know what's going on. So as we get some people on, we'll give some shout outs. Hi, David. Good to see you. Hey, Donna. Hope you're well. Hi, Donna. Um, is there anyone else that can't see everybody that's on, but <laughs> yeah, really. if you comment, we'll shout out to you. If you're just watching, God bless you, and you can just uh, stay semi-anonymous while you watch. Um, today, we want to uh, just uh, begin our prayer with a reading from Psalm 34, and we're just going to wait maybe just a minute or two. Hey, Izzy, how you doing? Good to see you. Uh, just a minute or two to let people uh, you know, find their way on Facebook and Instagram Live. Uh, just a quick note about uh, YouTube. Um, YouTube Live was having some issues for a couple weeks, so what we're going to try to do is just post this video on YouTube later on in the day. So if you know anybody that missed it, just tell them it'll be available, you know, later on in the day as well to rewatch it if that's <coughs> something you want to do. So um, if you have prayer requests or praise reports, you can make them in the comments. Uh, we try to see if we can see them live, but after each session, we go back and review all the comments and do that. So if you're on Facebook, you can also send us a message. Uh, if you're on Instagram, you can send us a message. You can uh, give us an email at info at hartfordcitychurch.com or you can text us at 860-612-8419. Um, hello, Evelyn. How are you doing? Good to see you as well. So again, I want to thank everyone uh, for joining us here in the noon hour. And we're going to go ahead and get started. The reading today is from Psalm 34. And I just think it's a great psalm uh, for the current time and situation uh, that we are in. So let's begin by reading Psalm 34. The psalmist David says, I will extol the Lord at all times. His praise will always be on my lips. I will glory in the Lord and rejoice. Glorify the Lord together. I sought the Lord from all my fears. Those who look to him covered with shame. This poor man called, and the Lord heard him, and saved him out of all of his troubles. The angel of the Lord encamps around those who fear him, and he delivers them. Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Fear the Lord, you holy people. Those who fear him lack nothing. The lions may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek the Lord lack no good thing. Come, my children, listen to me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. Whoever of you loves life and desires to see many good days, keep your tongue from evil, your lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are on the righteous and his ears are attentive to their cry. But the face of the Lord is against those who do evil to blot out their name from the earth. The righteous cry out and the Lord hears them. He delivers them from all their troubles. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Mm. The righteous person may have many troubles, but the Lord delivers him from them all. He protects all his bones, not one of them will be broken. Evil will slay the wicked, and the foes of the righteous will be condemned. The Lord will rescue his servants. No one who takes refuge in him will be condemned. Mm. Now I'm going to read from Beth Moore's Praying God's Word. When we offer a trusting heart and an honest, open mind to God, renewal is on its way. And you deliver them. Continually whet my appetite and woo me to taste and see that you will take refuge in you. Things may grow weak and hungry, but those who seek you, Lord, lack no good thing. Thank you, Lord. For always being good, a refuge in times of trouble, you care for those who trust in you. Amen. So let's Amen. go ahead and uh, begin in prayer uh, based on those. Lord, we just ask today that we would find our refuge in you. We know that these are times when we definitely need a safe place to be. Would surround us with your presence. 
about us today, Lord God, reminding us that we are very interested and active in being with us in the middle of everything that we're facing, God. Lord, we pray that mm -hmm. we would be able to look to you during this time, God. Mm -hmm. it, it is difficult when there is so much going on, so much that is causing stress, anxiety, fear, a doubt, anger, frustration, uh, where peace, uh, even though it might seem to be overwhelmed, peace is still flowing. Peace mm -hmm. is still there. The presence of you is is always going to be about bringing peace as well as bringing justice, God. So we to be with them during this time, God. Mm -hmm. Fields and um, all of those connected to that. We just continue to pray for um, those that are dealing specifically with the crisis, the crises that we are facing right now, whether it be politically or health-wise, we know, we each know someone, maybe a handful of people who are nurses, doctors, healthcare workers of some kind, um, hospital uh, help, um, just the local doctors and dentists and people who ha are now seeing folks regularly and, and are face to face with, um, with others and, and could be nervous with the police force as they deal with um, uh, keeping the marches and the protests um, quiet and um, listening to them as well as helping them um, protest in a way that honors you. And um, I just pray, Father, that uh, there's so much going on, that you would just protect us, that you would keep us as one together, uh, seeking your face, seeking your glory in all of this, and seeking unity um, in all of us together. And uh, Father, I just thank you for giving us opportunities, even recently, to stand up in, in some of our towns, uh, to bring um, issues to the forefront, and to stand together and work for justice and uh, be partners with our black community. And I just pray, Father, that you would um, watch over everyone as we try to find a new normal that is more worthy of, that um, can look to you. I just ask that you will help us. Um, I don't know whether we've ever really been just, you know, your country. It's your world, Father. And I just ask that everywhere in the world that those of us that your children will just step out and be a part of um renewing our world for you and just um help us father as we're close to those who are who are in danger or who are nervous about their jobs um, as our country reopens as things come back online and um, our people are seeing face to face just help us be wise and be considerate and be kind to each other, to be smart and to be safe and to be um, also bold and not afraid, mm -hmm. um, to be confident in you. And I thank you for all these, the, of these things that have happened. We thank you for this time of COVID um, because it just helps us to look to you and trust in you and, and know that our lives are um, not fully in our control. And we just ask that we take every um, issue that comes up and we more fully you in this, for you to teach us through this, for us to see you working in this, um, and help us not to complain, but to, um, but to just have the joy of the, of you and, um, be trusting in you every step of the way. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord. I want to apologize to Facebook. It looks like we're having some connection issues. So I'm going to ask Jen if you could shut off the Wi-Fi and just try to use the cell on your phone. Oh. And uh, so we're just going to pause for a minute and try to fix that Facebook connection as we continue to pray. Something that you're struggling with uh, that normally is hard enough to go through, but, but maybe there is, um, you know, this time is making it even worse. So I'd just like to pray uh, for that. So Lord, I just want to pray for those who are going through a difficult time right now, Lord. Uh, I want to pray for those who are grieving the loss of someone that they love, Lord. And this time mm. it's been difficult to have funerals and memorials mm. and grieving. So anybody that's lost loved ones, any time during 2020, Lord, we know this has been a very difficult year for that to happen. So we pray for your comfort and your peace, God. We pray that you would make a way where there seems to be no way for families and friends to come together and, and to celebrate the life of their loved one, but also to, to cry together, to mourn together, to pray together, to just be there to support each other, God. 
Lord, we know that there are many people who need emotional support during this time. We pray for those also, Lord, who are dealing with uh, mental health issues, uh, maybe some emotional health issues. God, we pray for them today in Jesus' name that mm. you would give them the healing that they are so longing for. We pray in mm. Jesus' name that they would be able to be connected to their their uh, counselors, psychologists, mm -hmm. psychiatrists, caregivers, the people that are helping them to walk through this. Lord, we remember those who are in recovery uh, for various addictions, and we know it's been a difficult time again mm -hmm. to access the normal resources that help them. So we pray in Jesus' name mm -hmm. that you would set people free from addictions, that you would give them strength and just uh, this faithfulness to their recovery program, mm -hmm. that they would stick with it during this time, and that you would continue to help them to resist the temptation to say no, to continue to do the healthy things uh, that they know that they need to do. God, thinking about getting help, Lord, I pray that they would reach out for whatever difficulty or problem that they're facing right now. Lord, we know that also in a time of, of just being sick, not from COVID, this mm -hmm. is a difficult time. So we pray for healing, Lord God. Uh, we pray today by name for healing for, mm -hmm. for uh, John, her husband's daughter, Janae. Uh, we pray for healing and peace and, and whatever deliverance they need in Jesus name. Lord, mm -hmm. we pray for Ruth, uh, that you continue to heal her fractured rib. Uh, we pray for a friend of uh, Jen Smith, uh, Kellyanne, who has an operable cancer. We pray mm -hmm. God for your presence and your peace there. We pray for Nicole's father who has cancer. We pray mm -hmm. for Kevin, who is having kidney surgery, Evelyn's nephew. Lord God, we lift up uh, Maria from our church. Her grandmother has a COVID virus and we pray for her healing and we pray for protection for the whole family. Lord, we pray for healing over Donna Olander today, God. We pray in Jesus' name that you would give her that which she is seeking, God, mm -hmm. and what you desire to give. Uh, Lord, we pray for Elizabeth, a friend of Ruth's who's being tested for different things, God. It's so um, full of anxiety and fear to be, to mm -hmm. not know what's going on, mm -hmm. God. So we pray for mm -hmm. clear direction from the doctors yes. and, and those who are, are watching over her. Lord, I also think of, the, of those who are dealing with anxiety as well and fear during this time. Lord, we read in your psalm that... Um, from all of our fears but then we're told to fear the lord so lord help us to learn how to manage our fear god help us to learn uh to place uh, our fear into your hands god to understand that with you at our side we don't have to fear anything of this earth mm -hmm. and we don't have to fear anything of the devil we don't have to fear anything of yes. the of the evil spiritual realm but fears to you um sometimes i think that's a little bit of what it means to fear you you god knowing that because of your grace we don't really have anything more to fear uh, because your perfect love casts out fear. Amen. So I pray in Jesus' name for your perfect love over each and every person uh, today, God. Mm. And God, we just ask that you would bless all of those seniors who are um, in the process of graduating or mm. um, have graduated or are watching their graduations on video. I know a lot of our college students have had various um, different uh, exercises to deal with and videos to watch. And God, it's such a, a weird way to, to finish, to complete all of this work that was done, all of this energy that, um, that they were just excited to, um, to have come to a closure. And I just ask that you would bless them, that you would give each family an extra measure of support and grace to celebrate with yes, them, yes. that you will help those who are stepping out into a new uh, part of their, the new stage of their life to mm -hmm. um, not be full of fear and anxiety mm -hmm. over uh, their futures that look different, that may be being told mm -hmm. to them are not going to be the same or not going to be as positive. And I just pray that you would lift each one of them up um, and that you would um, just help them to um, lean on you and to know that they're, they have others, that they're in this together, that the world is on their side. I just ask that you would help all of us to recognize that even though it's not the same maybe as having a, uh, a wild illness that no one's heard about before, that it's still a grief. It's still a burden to, to feel like something that you expected um, is just not anything. <laughs> anymore mm -hmm. to, to you and and I just ask that we would celebrate them where we can um, and that uh, you would just continue to grow this next generation um, the way that um, would glorify you and um, help our country and our world become more peaceful and more just and more fair and more loving and kind and I thank you for all of them Father. last semester that they 
uh, carried on, that they did the best they could. I just pray that you will give teachers and administrators a special measure of rest this summer and rejuvenation, that you would help our heal our country even from its educational gap and um, the body we've just waded through, that you would help us make the wise decisions and the right decisions for next year. And I just thank you, Father, that, that it is coming to a completion, that we can have a rest, mm -hmm. and that you have sustained us through that, as you always do. Thank you, Lord. Yes, God, bless those teachers and administrators who've had such a difficult time. As things are wrapping up, Lord, give them the rest that they need, mm -hmm. and just help them to have a, a good supper, Lord God, and, and help them to just uh, enjoy the time off this year. Lord, we pray for your will and your provision for what's going to happen next year with all of our schools and universities and colleges and educational institutions, God. We're just trusting you, Lord God, that that uh, we can definitely experience uh, better things in the fall. But but just give rest and peace. Give peace of mind and heart mm -hmm. to teachers that have struggled during this time and, and feel like they're not doing a very good job or they're not able to do what they want to do, God. Just in any way feeling like they're falling short. I pray, God, that you would encourage them and you would lift them up today. Mm -hmm. Father, we thank you that um, certain things are easing up, but more safe to, um, that um, you will enable them to see the light at the end of the tunnel. But Father, I just worried about their own underlying health issues or the fact that they could be high risk um, or for those who are, that you would help us be safe and wise and consider forget those who have, um, quarantine themselves or already were lonely to begin with and right. I just ask now um, do so at a good pace and in a way that um, honors each other and love is loving towards each other as well and yet at the same time we so look forward to the day that we can worship you in the same building together with our families our church in our areas in Hartford especially that um, they will all be um, excited that that new people have never thought about church before no. might be um, just just in a thinking mode in a seeking mode because of everything that's gone on that that we will be bold to ask those people to reach out mm -hmm. to friends who have been home who might be lonely who might be unsure of the future we just ask that as each church opens that they will find new faces there and that they will be welcoming and uh, loving and that they will be the right place that you will just bring each person to the right place the place they need to be to find you Amen. and we just want to see maybe even a revival of the Hartford churches uh, some kind of a boom that um, only you can do Thank that you. only you could bring out Thank of this you. darkness and ugliness and sickness and um, we trust father that that that's what you want to see too so we know that, um, that these can be good things and that we can expect them back to church. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap it up. I wanted to just invite you all uh, to be a part of our church service, which is uh, currently a virtual church. Uh, our YouTube channel, there's a link in our bio on Instagram, and uh, we will post the link to it as well on the Facebook. And uh, every Sunday morning, starting at 1030, we have a worship experience video that we would love for you to, to experience if you haven't already. And if you are, we'd love for you to share that with as many people as possible that God might lay on your heart to do so. Um, it's important to keep sharing God's word and God's message and God's mm -hmm. love during this time. And, and we feel like this is the way we can do it. We hope to be able to gather again soon. So we keep praying together for things to go well in our state of Connecticut and for things to open up soon as well again if you have any prayer requests or praise reports just please put them in the comments or updates or updates yes and we will go through them um, as soon as uh, this video has ended today so uh, let's uh, conclude together today by saying uh, some language that's a little bit more modern so as i always say you can pray with whatever words you know and even if it doesn't sound quite the same uh, the Lord is the God of all languages. He can certainly understand <laughs> our prayers. So we're just going to begin, and i just like to begin the Our Father prayer by saying, Our Father in heaven, holy is your name. I know mm -hmm. hallowed is a bit of an old-fashioned word, but that's what it means, is that God is holy. So if you can, wherever you are, if you can pray out loud, pray out loud. If not, just pray silently in your heart. Mm -hmm. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer, the Our Father, together. Our, our Father, Father in heaven, 
holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Give us this day our daily bread, as we forgive those who sin against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Amen. It's hard to get that thine out of there, isn't it? Way back in the church. We in the thines, but uh, you all understand that. Amen. Thank you all for joining us.